Good afternoon, this is Charles Svensson. I'm the interim pastor at First Presbyterian Church Santa Barbara. And uh, it is Wednesday, um, March the 18th, and I'm coming to you from Anderson Lounge. And I, I bless you and I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ as we are in the midst of the season of Lent. I want to um, come to you on a regular basis. I hope that you saw uh, Pastor Eric's really fine devotional last night on St. Patrick. It was toward the close of the day and he read the St. Patrick's uh, prayer and uh, that was a, a real fine piece and I just want to commend that to you. And I was saying to Eric this morning that one of the blessed parts of that uh, little video that he made, that devotional he made, was hearing the children. Um, I, don't know if, I don't know if it was Caden or other friends of his, but it was very fun to hear them laughing and playing in the background. What I'd like you to do today is um, just remind you that our, our church campus is closed and uh, groups are not meeting here and a letter is going out from uh, the task force to the congregation and you'll be receiving that letter by snail mail and also email uh, later on today and the end of the week uh, by snail mail. But what I'd like to do today is just read for you a, a psalm. Uh, uh, it's one of the 15 psalms of ascent as the people of Israel were coming back to the uh, rebuilding of Jerusalem, they would offer these psalms as, as prayers, as, as families would come up, up the steps, ascending the steps of the, of the city of Jerusalem. And this is from Psalm 131. And I want you to remember a couple of words, calm and quiet are, are the words are, that, that help me during this time of national and global um, pandemic and crisis. The psalmist prays, O Lord, my heart is not lifted up, my eyes are not raised too high, I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother, my soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. And I've used this psalm um, going to sleep at night if my heart is heavy or it's anxious, as it has been, I'm sure yours have been too, over the last uh, few days and even weeks, um, that we trust in a God that calms and quiets our soul. Uh, this coming Sunday is the fourth Sunday in Lent. I'm preaching on the 23rd Psalm. Um, I fear no evil, for you are with me. The presence of God in our hearts causes us to fear no evil and gives us this calmness and quietness of soul. So I commend this to you. And this is the first of many opportunities that I will be coming to you um, on, a, on a regular basis to give you a word for the day, a word of prayer, a word of hope, a word of blessing, and that we are doing ministry in, in new forms here at First Presbyterian Church and beyond. And adaptability is, is the name. Uh, of our style right now and we just want to come to you uh, in this form to bless you and and pray with you and encourage you in your walk of faith. So I want to close with a prayer that's taken from our own Book of Common Worship. Um, it's uh, the fourth uh, week of Lent uh, prayer, fourth Sunday of Lent. Uh, please pray with me. Everlasting God, in whom we live and move and have our being. You have made us for yourself so that our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Give us, O God, purity of heart and strength of purpose that no selfish passion may hinder us from knowing your will, no weakness keep us from doing it, that in your light we may see light clearly, in your service find perfect freedom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Gracious God, we uh, continue in our life together as a community at First Presbyterian Church Santa Barbara, and we know that you are present with us and so we fear no evil. So give us a quiet and calm spirit as we go forward in this day. We thank you that we go together and we go with you and we go in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So bless us and all whom we love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we thank you for this and we wish you a blessed day. Amen.